is up. It is your boy, Studio MacGyver, and you are listening to Studio MacGyver's Dragon Ball and Video Game Podcast. Uh, welcome back to another episode, guys. Another week has passed, and, uh, you know, we're going to talk about some games a little bit, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, some anime, man. Um, where should I begin? I guess I'm going to start with uh, <laughs> a game that I spoke on briefly last episode, and um, it was, it is everything that I hoped it would have been, uh, and more. I, I, I'm just, I'm going to throw that out there right now. I'm talking about No Man's Sky, guys. I literally um, am looking at the screen right now, and you know. The game is paused. I'm just chilling on a planet and I've been playing this game uh, ever since I pretty much picked it up. Uh, And I've I've got over 45 hours um, logged in so far. Shit. When did I pick this up? I want to say I picked it up. I picked it up um, on Tuesday. Yeah, I picked it up on Tuesday uh, and started playing it that night and has not fucking stopped playing since man um it it is it's excellent i I, i'm having so much fun running around doing shit farming uh you know upgrading weapons talking to different you know alien races on different galaxies and stuff like that man and now you're able to play with friends they can join your game all of this shit man i mean i paid 20 dollars and picked it up brand new still sealed in the package man for playstation ps4 um but if i had an xbox one and 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 was looking to get this game it is definitely worth the 59.99 that they are asking for this game it's a it's it's basically what it should have been when it came out um i would definitely pay uh the 60 dollars price for this game i'm just lucky enough to have a ps4 right now and just don't have to worry about that i'm good right now and 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 rightfully so um I had a friend who actually, you know, bought the game day one and, you know, he jumped in my, you know, he jumped in my, uh, my server or whatever we were talking. And he was like, yo, this, this is, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm lost. I'm lost in space. Like, I don't remember anything. It was nothing like this. Um, there's a lot of things changed. They switched a gang of shit. Um, it's a completely different game and, you know, I will never know the past, you know, No Man's Sky shit because, you know, it's good that I'm, I just feel like I'm very lucky right now to, to play this game now and to only pay $20 for it and experience what I'm experiencing from this game. Uh, definitely the game that I've been looking for to, uh, basically lose myself in until Spider-Man comes out and maybe, uh, you know, Naruto, uh, Shinobi Striker. I think that comes out the end of August, I want to say. Um, but yeah, those two games, I mean, you know, are still a good month away. So um, this will definitely keep my time. So when I'm when I'm at the house, it is so big that, you know, you, you <laughs> the game is so huge. I mean, you could just hours sink hours in this game like like nothing. Like I found myself looking at the clock like time goes by so fast when I'm playing this damn game. Um, I had to wing myself off of it. I literally had to tear myself away from that game to do this podcast. I mean, I have really, to be honest with you guys, I have not had time to play anything else, do anything else, play anything else. Really, I mean, you know, usually when I do a podcast, I prep for the podcast and, and I, you know, I go over some things or whatever. And, you know, I do other things. I try to do other things within that week um, to get ready for the podcast, man. But, you know. This this is pretty much been No Man's Sky uh, ever since, you know, from Tuesday on from Tuesday night on. It's been this game and um, it's going to be this game uh, moving forward. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't even know where to begin. Um, I'll just start off by saying it's definitely a game. If you if you if you own a PlayStation, for sure, you there's no reason why you should pick it up. Should not. Pick, there's no reason why you should uh, pass pass this game up. Uh, especially now for the $20 price point, um, you can probably get it as low as $17, $18 at GameStop used. 
um, and you get all the updates. They're, they're, everything is free. There, there's nothing. There's no paywall behind anything. Everything is free. There's actually weekly updates. It's already when the game came out. It was uh, the update was called. It was um, what it was called next. And then it was one point five. Um, now there's a, we've already got a one point five one out <laughs> and they're working on some other shit coming. So, I mean, they're staying on top of it. I got to give kudos to uh, Hello Games for that. Um, you know, and it was, it was an issue where basically, you know, when you got a new developer and they're working on shit and they, uh, they got a lot of hype, you know, building up around it so much hype to where, you know, they didn't expect the hype to be so, so much. And then they felt that they couldn't turn back. They felt like they crossed the line that they could never, you know, uncross. And basically that snowball just continued to roll downhill and getting bigger and bigger. And they, didn't feel like doing anything else or they, that they could do anything else except for ride that, ride that motherfucking snowball down the hill. Um, and when I say that, I mean telling people everything that's going to be in the game, which he technically did not lie about, but he didn't tell you the time frame. Okay. So basically they were boasting about everything that could be done in this game, um, which we are experiencing now, finally, but, they weren't ready. Uh, they weren't ready, you know, to put all that out day one. They, they, that's what they failed to tell all the consumers. You know what I mean? Um, and in a way, it, it, you can kind of look at it as being smart in a sense. Um, almost to say, like, you know, you're you're in a corner, you have nowhere to turn, and you have to to make a decision, and you have to make it fast. Um, and it has to be the right one, or else it's, you're going to be completely fucked. So it's almost like. If they, you know, they, they made the money, they made their money off of the hype of the game. And then when people finally found out that it wasn't what they said it was going to be, uh, they lost a lot of, uh, they got a lot of flack for it. They, they were basically, you know, they were a walking meme because of it. Um, they went through a lot of shit, death threats, all kinds of things that, that, you know, that was associated with this, um, and with them kind of, uh, pulling the wool over, you know, our eyes, so to speak. Um, but in the end, I guess you could say it kind of paid off, um, because they stayed with it. They could have just said, you know, fuck it. We made our money. We're just going to, you know, walk away and, and count this shit in, in, in hello games is, is no more. But, you know, for somebody who owns a company who wants to leave a mark, you know, they did what, you know, was right. I mean, they love making games and even though they fucked up. They still, you know, had the sticular fortitude to take all of that and look at yourself in the mirror and say, look, no, we're not going to stop. We're going to, you know, deliver on our promise. Even if it takes us two, three years, we're going to do it. And they fucking did. They finally did. And I thank them for that shit, man, because if they didn't, I mean, I would never have got the chance to experience this game um, and the updates that are soon that are that are coming. And then this this basically they've pretty much redeemed themselves in my eyes um, as far as, you know, a product. I'm looking at the product, you know, what they did to get here. Um, I don't necessarily agree with. But if you look at the product now, the, the 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 product, the mission, the you know, the dream that they had for this game, they've they finally realized it. They finally got to a point where they can say, you know, this is what you know we were finally able to do. We were finally able to do everything we said was going to be in the game. And at the same time, now they're, they're walking on eggshells because they don't want to uh, say something that's not going to be happening unless it's going to actually happen when they say it does. And, you know, they, they learned a valuable lesson doing that. And now, you know, they're all the better for it, if you ask me. Um, I'm, I can't wait to look forward to what's going to come later. I mean, what they're working on later as far as, you know, adding to this game, you know, doing new things, you know, new modes or whatnot. I mean. What sold me on it was the third person uh, thing. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a stickler for third person games. I love third person. Um, I'm not really a big fan of first person. And, you know, a game like this, you know, it works better for me in third person because, you know, when you're in a ship, you know, I'd like to see my ship. I'd like to see, you know, the, the wider scale of the screen, where I'm going and what I'm doing. Same thing with my avatar. You know, I, I like to see what I'm wearing. I like to see, you know, if I'm if I'm, you know, editing my appearance or whatever i would like to see that i would you know i don't give a fuck about anybody else looking at my shit i want to see how fly i am you know what i mean and you know i just that's just me you know that's just how i like to play you know 
And now that they had that, you know, that was the tipping pot, the tipping point, um, if you will, for me to say, oh, let me get this game a try now. And now the fact that you can have people, uh, you can play with your friends and stuff now. I mean, I've, I'm, I was in a party with some friends early tonight, man, and uh, I think I got somebody else to go and pick the game up. I'm working on another friend of mine right now. You know, he's, he's still kind of uh, he's still kind of hesitant, but um, hopefully we can get him on board. All I need him to do is just take it uh, for a spin real quick, and and I think that you know he'll be sold on it. Because once you once you get the game, once you put the game in, and you, you just you're out here, I mean that's that's all it takes. Uh, and then you're you're in the game, you're in the world. You know, uh, I got me some some nice weapons now. I got me another ship now. I'm learning how everything works. I'm having I'm having a blast. I'm loving this shit right now, man. And, and, and I'm burning hours like, like, <laughs> like nothing before. I'm probably going to have to, you know, take the foot off the gas just, just a little bit. Um, right now I'm enjoying, you know, just being, being home alone, uh, and have been for the last few weeks, uh, with the kids, you know, gone for the summer and all of that type of stuff. So, you know, in about, about four or five days, um, it's going to get, it's going to get pretty crazy around here again. And I'm going to have to, you know, pick and choose my shots, uh, and, you know, same thing with the podcast. I'm enjoying, you know, being able to record with no interruptions, not worrying about, oh, he's not sleep yet. I'm worried about him coming out the room, being interrupted, all that stuff, you know. So this is my last podcast in peace, if you will. Uh, and, and you guys don't know it from listening to the podcast, but I have to I have to be pretty motherfucking calculating, man, to get some of these recordings done. Um, you got to get pretty creative, man, when you got a five year old in the house and, you know, they're in more trouble than they might seem. Um, and, and half the time they don't, it's it, really more than half the time they don't, it's not intentional. They're just five. They're just, they're just kids. They're just, he doesn't know that if I come out of this door to get some milk that I'm going to interrupt daddy's podcast. He doesn't know that shit. So with that being said, you know, that, that's the kind of, uh, that's the kind of, you know, thing that I'm on, you know, usually around here when I'm trying to record or just do anything, you know, that I like doing. But I just have to say that uh, Hello Games they're finally delivered on this. I had to do this podcast and, and you know, make No Man's Sky the basics, the basic uh, premise of this uh, podcast, man, because that's all I've been doing this past week. I mean, I haven't really been doing anything else. I don't really have too much else to talk about. I just had to come and let you guys know that if you had played it and if you were burned by it, do yourself a favor. If you hadn't sold the game or whatever, pop it back in. And even if you have twenty dollars, it's just it's it's nothing compared to you know what the enjoyment is that you will experience once you play this game i promise you man um pick it back up man it's a completely different game now give it a chance give it a shot everybody who you know who's playing on xbox i mean i'm 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 sure you're loving it if you haven't and if you're on the cusp of finding a new game you want to sink hours and hours and hours into this is the game right now guys if you like that open world adventure style a game that you can just do whatever the fuck you want to do i mean this is the game right here this is the one for you man i did not think i was going to like it or love it as much as i did but i love when you when you when you find a game and you don't expect to uh you don't expect it to hit you you know the way that it does those those surprises i mean it's just so beautiful man so wonderful and I, refer, I you know, I can make Naruto references all day long because, you know, it's kind of like how that was. I didn't from the outside looking in, looking at, you know, what Naruto looked like, looking at, you know, what he had on. And, and it was supposed to be about ninjas. You know, I didn't I was like, I don't think this is going to be very good. But evidently people are really, really loving this shit. Um, So I need to give it a whirl. And I did, and I'm so happy that I did. It changed my life, uh, anime, anime. It changed my anime life. Um, and it kind of feels like this with this game. I mean, you know, this game really opened my eyes, man. Um, beautiful, beautiful game. Um, you know, it's not perfect. And, you know, and, I, and when I say that, I mean, you know, I'm talking about, you know, um, technical stuff. You know, there, there's, there, like I said, there's, there's, updates every week they're fixing they're working on a lot of things i mean frame rate is can, can be you know a little spicy um from time to time um and you know there's there's i haven't experienced any glitches yet but there's apparently glitches depending on certain things that you do a lot of them have been addressed already uh but there's still some small ones you know nothing major but you know 
it's damn near like if I had to give the score, you know, one to ten, you know, I'm definitely giving this, I'm definitely giving this uh, eight point five to a nine, no fucking doubt about it. Um, it's it's keeping me glued to the seat, glued to my chair. Um, it's keeping it's keeping that you know that charger in my controller. Um, it's definitely got me uh by the balls, in a good way. Okay, uh, you know, not Sam or 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 Bobby holding my balls. You know, it, it's more like a a beautiful, you know, beautiful woman, you know, named Tracy, you know, or or you know, Amanda, you know, who has my balls in in, in her hands. It, it's kind of like that. You know what I mean? That that's what I mean when I say that, uh, in a good way. So if you guys have not heard or seen or you you're having your doubts. Hey, go to YouTube. Turn to YouTube, man. There's plenty of videos out now. Um, it's it has completely redeemed itself. Hello Games is back, y'all. It, it's all good. Um, I'm vouching for it. You know what I mean. So I'm a gamer. I'm vouching for this one right here, baby. You know what I mean. I was trying to find something to play. Um, you know, until Spider Man dropped. Until you know, uh, Shinobi Striker dropped. Cause I'm, you know, I was on the fence about Shinobi Striker, but the more and more I, I look at Shinobi Striker, uh, the better and better, you know, I feel about picking that up as well. I think half of it is just me being a big time Naruto fan now. Um, but the other part is, you know, there, when I first saw some of the videos on it, it you know, it looked kind of shaky, but like I said, it was early in development. They were still working on some things, but the more and more I watch of it, the, the more and more I realize that it's going to be pretty fun to play. And then I've got some friends that are going to jump on it. So, you know, I'd have somebody to play with. And then it's got custom creation. So, I mean, think Xenoverse uh, and the Naruto world, you know what I mean? Um, on their terms or whatever. So that's going to be awesome, I think. Uh, yeah, I can't wait. I'm waiting for it. i um, going to see what happens. And we're going to get into it, man. Um, but yeah, which, you know, I'm going to jump off of, I'm going to jump off the, uh, the No Man's Sky train now and, and kind of, kind of, uh, jump into a little something different real quick. Um, want to talk real quick, um, about just a little quick tidbit I heard on, um, from Nintendo. Uh, Nintendo has got a new Joy-Con. Uh, in the works and if you guys are familiar with a company named Hori Hori is known for their fight sticks um, they're synonymous with fight sticks they make a pretty damn good fight stick um, at that but they're the ones who are you know partnering up with Nintendo or whatever to come out with these Joy-Con sticks um, and basically all what they are is just think of the Joy-Con you know the regular Joy-Con except for it's got an added arrow uh, joy pad on there you know what I mean so um, it makes it a lot easier to play certain games um, with this with these Joy Cons. Um, now, I guess the the that the downside of this is it it only you can only it only works in handheld mode. So if you wanted to play it, you know, on the TV or whatever, then you know you might, you're pretty much fucked unless there's an update or unless there's something that they you know they do. But currently, right now as it stands, it's only in handheld mode only. But you know that's cool. It'd be cool with me if I had it, if I had one, because I'd only play it in handheld mode anyway. Um, you know, I wouldn't be playing the Switch on the on the big screen. But uh, I just thought I had to add that little tidbit for you Nintendo fans out there, man. Definitely. Uh, if I I would definitely check that out if I were you guys. Um, I don't have the price listed. I wish I did. Um, but it is definitely a thing and you should definitely look into it if you are looking for a joy pad type of uh type of controller with the arrow pad on there man you know what i mean because there's lots of games that you could definitely benefit from uh with this controller uh if that's the case and it is the case because i'm talking about it so check that out man tell me how you feel all right uh nothing on dragon ball right now uh i, I pretty much brushed on that the last podcast because there's really nothing more but theories and all these other things that we could talk about. And I don't really want to get into theories right now, man. Not today. Um, we all know it's coming. We all know it's going to be in theaters. We all can't wait. I know I can't. Uh, I'm going to see it. Uh, but I want to talk a little bit about Baruto real quick and brush on something. Um, about, I mean, in case in point, episode 65, uh, I had a chance to watch it again and, um, it was definitely a masterpiece of an episode. 
it was up there with uh, episode 122 of Dragon Ball Super. Uh, my favorite Dragon Ball Super uh, episode as far as art style, as far as the the the, the direction, the director, um, and how everything was played out. Uh, man, it, it, it looked better than, than the movie. Um, I mean, it, it, that's how good it was. Um, you know, the story with Naruto is really going to a place where, you know, as a Naruto fan now, you know, I, I, I can't be more happy that there's, I mean, the way that they've, they've done this and they're doing this, man, this is really, uh, I, words can't really describe what they you just can't describe it i mean how i feel right now i mean episode 66 man is given basically in my opinion is is basically like the turning of the page as far as like you know as the character you know bruto developing you know what i mean now he was he was he was cheating for the tuning exams and you know now you know he was basically they came back from, you know, after they knocked out the bad guy, if you will, if you want to call him that. And, you know, basically everybody was, you know, Hinata was hugging everybody, telling everybody how much he missed and everything, all of that. And, you know, Baruto basically said, look, man, I want to tell him for what I fucking did. You know, I want, I'm going to go and apologize to everybody, um, you know, that, you know, I, that shit was beneath me. You know, all that cheating, and all that shit was beneath me, man. He did all that. I mean, I felt that he that was a. It was a major turning point in his character growth, and he did that. Um, I, I just see good things in the future, man, coming from this, man. You know, Serata, she's, uh, I see her getting with, you know, Bruto, you know, one day. You know what I mean? It, you see it throughout the series. You saw little hints and, and stuff, you know, going on, you know. Uh, it's just a great series, man. It, the whole thing is, uh, when I say series, I mean, I'm not just talking about Bruto. I'm talking about, I'm including Everything, Naruto, Shippuden, all that is under the same umbrella. It's just, it's just a great series, man. It really is. And I just, I'm so excited to see where they're going to go with this. I, I'm trying not to fuck with the manga because I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to see prematurely like, but I kind of do in a sense though, in a, in a way as well. Like I wouldn't be any more hurt to, to read, to read the manga, you know, now. And because then I'd be like, okay, I'm going to see how this is going to play out, you know, on the screen. That's just how I feel, man. I mean, I had to brush on that, you know, just a quick little mention of, you know, where Bruto is going as a series and, you know, all the character growth and everything like that. You know, um, everybody just, you know, Naruto and, and Sasuke, Sasuke's done a lot of growing himself. Um, you know, I like to see a little bit more interaction with him and, you know, his daughter and his wife. You know what I mean? Uh, I would like to see a little bit more of that. And maybe we probably will, you know, um, as as the series goes on, because, you know, they're always in the thick of shit. They're always in the heat of battle. And they're, you know, Naruto and Sasuke. And, you know, I don't know, man, I just had a funny feeling that somebody that we really love is going to die, uh, you know, between now and between, you know, the time it's over. You know, I don't know if it's going to be I don't know who it's going to be, man, but I just have a feeling because, you know, Every somebody always loses, takes an L and they lose their life, man. It happened in Naruto. It happened in Shippuden, and you know it's gonna happen here. Somebody's gonna gonna punch that ticket. I just don't know who yet. Um, we'll see. Konohamaru is uh, definitely a, a guy I really like in this series. I like to see more of. But there's one guy who I think uh, some of you guys would definitely agree with me. That we would like to see more of, and that is uh, the copy ninja Kakashi, and he still hasn't showed up. And I'd like to know what's going on. Um, I'm sure, you know, they're not pulling the Toriyama and just forgetting him. I'm sure they got some plans for him down the line in the future. I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain of that. We have not seen the last of Kakashi. I'm, you know, because Kakashi has a funny way of showing up when shit gets real and i mean like really real like if if um naruto and sasuke really if i felt they were really really in danger um i think we would have seen kakashi you know what i mean uh so like i said i think that time is coming 
I don't know how soon, but I think it'll be eventually it'll get to that point and we should see him pop his head out again. And hopefully, you know, I like to see, you know, what he's learned, what he's picked up, you know, since he's lost his sharing gun, because a lot of people have debated about that. You know what I mean? Like, oh, he's lost it. So he he's not as good as he was. Um, no, I think that's quite the opposite. If you guys remember uh, before he even attained that, he was like one of the youngest uh, members of the black the Ambu Black Ops, um, he basically he he was a he was a certified genius um, in the ninja world, and if you guys know that the Sharingan, you know, it takes up so much of your chakra and so much it drains you uh, so much from using it. That's why Kakashi always kept it covered up. He never he never uh, you know took he never uncovered it unless he was unless shit got real serious. And then even then, when it got serious and he may have saved the day, he still ended up having to fucking recover laid up in a bed somewhere for weeks sometimes um, because of the drain that it take, took on his body. Now, since he's lost it, since he doesn't have it anymore, um, when I say quite the opposite, I mean that now he's got way more chakra reserve than he had when he had that. Um, so uh, he's able to hone um, a lot of the things that he's been able to do um, because of that. And I'm anxious to see what that is going to be because we know he's a very gifted ninja and I would like to know what he's been working on, um, you know, when we're, we're not seeing him, you know, what's what's going on. Um, that's really the only question I have personally um, with the series, you know, I'm referring to Baruto right now because, you know, Kakashi is my favorite. So I got to know what's going on with him, where he's at. Um, and he's basically like, he was, he was like a top tier character. He was always around and shit. He was one of the main staples in the series and, you know, they're holding him back for some reason. Okay. Uh, we just don't know yet. And you know, Hey, sooner or later, we're going to find out. But, um, you know, I didn't, didn't want to talk about too much this podcast, man. I just wanted to let you guys know, you know, what I was doing and I was just, I just been, you know, balls deep, balls fucking deep in, you know, no Man's Sky for good reason, for good reason. And I'm going to be balls deep in it for another week uh, easily. Um, I'll be playing this for a while, guys, so I probably won't be playing too much of anything else. But it's cool. It's a good thing. You know, sometimes you need that one game to just kind of just lose yourself in. I did it in God of, with God of War. Um, I did it with The Witcher 3. You know, there, I did it with Horizon Zero Dawn. There's certain games that you just, you know, you know you're going to lose yourself in it. You know it the hour you start playing it. You're like, okay, well, that first hour, you know, like, okay, I want to know the all the intricacies of this game. I want to know the ins and outs, everything. You know, I'm all in, and this is one of those games. Um, and it's good when you don't see it coming. It's always good to get that surprise when you don't see it coming. And this is that surprise game for me right now, guys. Um, so uh, with that being said, I mean, that is going to do it for this podcast. Um this podcast has been uh, brought to you by Beautiful Nerds. Beautiful Nerds um, is a website that sells gaming and anime uh, items. Um, basically, they sell clothes. They sell hats. They sell hoodies. Um, and, you know, it's all it's all themed with uh, game gaming themes and anime themes. So, you know, you might have some Naruto references. You might have some, you know... Uh, Resident Evil references. You might have some, you know, all kinds of different gaming references and, and anime references type of items, man. They got some dope shit. Um, it's www.beautifulnerds.com and nerds is spelled with N U R D Z. That's www.beautifulnerds.com. Check them out. Um, you definitely be, uh, doing yourself a favor. Um, definitely when it gets cold, man, they've got some dope beanies. They got some dope hats, man. Um, and some hoodies. So just check them out, man, when you get a chance. Um, with that being said, I'm gonna get out of here, guys. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for listening to this podcast. I want to thank all the new listeners. If you're there, I want to thank you for listening to this podcast. Um, I try to put out one every week, every once in a while, I might miss a week because it's either not enough content or something's happening on my end, but, uh, I do love anime and I do love gaming. So um, this is like something that I do for fun and I do for the love of it all. So I'm not going to stop. So uh, I just want to thank all the people who've been hanging down uh, with me from day one. 
all over the world, man. I have people who listen to this show um, from New Zealand, <laughs> overseas, uh, you know, Europe. I mean, all over the place, man. And I just want to thank you guys for listening. I just want to thank everybody um, for emailing, for commenting, whatever, you know, just for being a part of this uh, anime and gaming scene, man. So I'm going to get out of here, guys. I love you guys. Uh, I'll be back next week. Holler at your boy. You have been listening to Studio MacGyver's Dragon Ball and Video Game Podcast. See you next time. Mm-hmm.